well, I, I believe that I can be anything I want to be in my life. I mm -hmm. feel like life is a big size canvas mm -hmm. and I can paint whatever colors, however right. way I want. And there's, if I don't like it, I'll paint over again and I'll put some red, yellow, mm -hmm. blue, and all over again if I don't like it, white. Mm -hmm. I just don't like to be confined in a box. Right. I hate to be limited to one thing. I hate to be categorized and stereotyped to one thing right. as well. I, I feel like being an artist, like I want to be able to like create anything I want in my life because I love to do the things I love to do. Right. So I love art, so I get to paint and be an artist. Mm -hmm. I love helping other people, especially young people. So I run an art school so that I can share my talent with other people, mm -hmm. have other teachers share their talents, mm -hmm. and then have students grow their artistic like abilities. Mm -hmm. And I really love dancing. Like, yeah. I, I don't feel like you should ever put yourself in like a whole, like a box just because like you should like, be branded mm -hmm. yourself like one way. I feel like if you, if you really love to do something, just do it. Mm -hmm. And it, it's a part of you. Yeah. So why should you ever limit yourself? Right. Yeah. I, th I think that's something that a lot of uh, people, you know, kids, uh, especially uh, going through high school it can sometimes you know you try to feel like you have to conform to one thing be mm -hmm. one thing um i had that uh sort of issue in, in high school uh being like a music student quote unquote and i figured oh i guess i can only be this thing um even though my school wasn't all that like cliquey or anything yeah um and i, I just i felt weird um you know thinking oh i guess i could also join the drama club no that's a little weird mm -hmm. and so you know like what would you what would you say to those people like to to me uh back in high school what, what would you say if you met me back in high school um you're limiting yourself uh growth i feel like mm -hmm. uh you'll be limiting like who you can be for yourself and mm -hmm. for other people mm -hmm. like you're putting yourself in like a like a box and in that box you can only be that one mm -hmm. thing but there when you break through the box there's so many other channels and ways that mm. like you can be like it's like exploring your potential like right. i'm really big in exploring someone's potential right like can i be a singer mm -hmm. can i be a dancer can i can i be this and that like why not why can't i right. okay yeah no yeah that's that's very like it's a it's sometimes it's like a, a weird and hard lesson for for people to learn um uh so you're an artist uh, an art educator. Uh, could you speak on the subject of uh, and share your thoughts on uh, the importance of um, art education and, and uh, art in people's lives, especially young people's lives? Yeah. Um, so I really believe that like the arts, you don't like a kid doesn't have to be like, you know, like a fine artist, a visual artist. Mm -hmm. But what they can take from art is creativity, creativity in itself will like just expand your life like into a variety of, of ideas like how to problem solve things how to see things from a different light how to be versatile adaptable when things like problems come up mm -hmm. like creativity in itself is a really high skill for like any job any career mm -hmm. So even if someone doesn't go into the arts like a, as a particular career they can still be creative be great at problem solving yeah awesome yeah I think uh I think there's a lot of value in, in art education. Oh, patience and persistency oh, too. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes. So for, even in art, we really tell our students, you got to finish like a piece. Even if you don't feel mm -hmm. like it's good enough, you still got to finish it. Mm -hmm. Finish to the finish line. Yes. Uh, I, I think that's for a lot of people who are uh, past the be uh, early beginning stage and kind of in like the early mid beginning stage, um, they struggle with, uh, I guess, a lot of insecurity about their work and like, oh, I have to perfect it and get it uh, perfect like this person who I really look up to. Um, and that was something that cripples a lot of people. It, it, you know, it crippled me in, in high school when um, uh, like after like three years of just making whatever I want, I, I suddenly decided like, oh, I have to make everything like perfect and I barely made anything. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think that's a very important point for you to share. Yeah, no, on that, um, there was a time when I went to university, I had a teacher, worst teacher ever, actually. He was oh. like, your art is not good. Oh, yeah. No. And, yeah. And when I was studying art, I was like going into it like full of passion. I'm like, I love this. And then you have a teacher that says your art is not good. <laughs> like he was like, he's like hurting me as a person mm -hmm. because my art is like me. Right. 
so so because of him i just got into a spiral of like who am i right. what is my art going to be about and then yeah it was just like and you know, i went yeah deep, very depressed for a bit actually and not liking art for a couple of years just because of this teacher and, and having him for like a year wow. he was a very negative teacher so i didn't i didn't really like that mm -hmm. so what i learned from that is to not give a sh what people say oh yeah, yeah there you go yeah <laughs> and just do your own thing everyone has different opinions that's okay that's their opinion but don't let it affect you mm -hmm. and i think if that didn't happen, I wouldn't be so like as persistent and having grit mm -hmm. and, and having self-belief in my art mm -hmm. now. So I feel like things happen for a particular reason. Wow. Yeah, yeah especially because now you're an art teacher. Yeah, exactly. And so, uh, <laughs> do you feel like, I don't know, on a conscious or sub subconscious level, you, you decided to become a teacher to make sure that kids don't feel that way the way yeah. you felt is that something you yeah. have sort of consciously thought about yes i definitely have yeah. conscious <laughs> i was like that's not the type of art teacher i will ever be to my students right okay yeah. awesome